These signs and wonders are signs and wonders to grab the unbeliever's attention to hear the gospel. It's that simple. But what I'm about ready to show our people is so amazing. There was a woman that went to one of your meetings and sat under the glory. And when she sat under the glory, for hours and hours she was praying in the Spirit. And she was so in the glory that she literally, as a police officer said, went through a gigantic truck. Let's take a look at this right now. Two weeks later, I was driving home with a gentleman from the jail with me and my two daughters from our Saturday night service. And as I was heading home to take him home, I appeared into an intersection as I was driving and the light for me was green and I was following another car through that intersection when my daughter yelled in the back, stop. And I looked to my left and coming down a large hill was a big two-door truck with an eight-horse horse trailer attached to it. And he comes through the intersection, and I'm stopped, and he is not swerving. I can't do anything. And within seconds, I feel him hit my car. Everybody in the car felt the impact, um, just the movement of the car inside. And then all of a sudden, it was like we were separated from this world. It was like almost dreamy. And then all of a sudden after that happened, I started seeing, along with everyone else, his truck, piece by piece, pass through my car. Sections of it. I mean, I remember sections of it. And thinking in my mind, he's hit my car. I know that we've just had an accident, but I don't feel any of the trauma of this accident. He passes all the way through with all of the horse trailer, and I look to the right on the final passing following his car, and there's a police officer there, and it's one of our undercover officers. He's not in an actual vehicle, but he goes up and puts a red light on and follows him. I completed the intersection, and um, my youngest daughter got out, and she was a little disturbed, and we were all shaking inside, and I drove the young gentleman home. I called my husband and told him what had happened to us. And he said, you know, there was an officer there. Let's get a hold of him and see what he saw. And so um, the next day we found the officer who had witnessed it, and he did not want to talk about it. He said, I will only tell you this. He said, I reached down to grab the radio to call in the accident. I saw him hit you. And when I pulled up my radio to bring it to my mouth to call in the accident, he was passing through your car. That is outrageous. It is wonderful. David, how did she get into that realm? Well, it's funny because that last night in those meetings, she was there with her church group, and I actually talked about how in the glory, the sound waves in your body, because we're made of sound, expand when you're in the glory. When you're in the presence of God, you feel like you're getting lighter, and things are just like, flo like you're floating almost. So I was actually teaching on that realm how it happens. And when you talk about something, it opens up the realm for it to happen. Then they drive home, their 15-hour trip, for 15 hours or so, 12 hours, whatever it was, nonstop worshiping, praising God for the miracles. Some of them in that van had like at, were healed of asthma. They, you know, they had insulin, and and that's when it happened. But they were in such a realm of glory, the molecules in their body, even on the vehicle, just began to expand like a cell phone. The sound waves go through walls. Jesus went through walls when he was in his glorified state when he came back from being resurrected. So when you're in that heavy glory. The molecular structure of your body literally changes. Your spirit man starts to take over your physical man, and you can go through objects. You can go through walls. You can, you can be transported, and that's pretty much what happened. That glory got to such a degree, their spirit man took over the physical man, and even the vehicle went right through the other vehicle. Just out of curiosity, David, have you or your wife Stephanie ever been transported in the spirit? Yes, we have. Tell me one quick. Okay, I was on my way. I was driving from Paris, France to Brussels, Belgium, or a town near Brussels. Three-hour trip. I was late. My car broke down. I got it fixed. 7.30, I'm on the road. My meeting is at 7, so I'm half an hour late, and I have a three-hour drive in heavy traffic. I'm not going to make it. I call the pastor. Pastor, I'm going to be there at 10.30 in three hours. Hopefully, I miss, I'm going to miss the meeting. I'm sorry. Why don't you preach, and I'll just come at the end to greet the people. I get in the car, and now I'm just worshiping Jesus because... I know I'm not going to preach anyway, so I'm just enjoying Jesus for me. I'm not trying to get a word. I'm not trying to. I'm just enjoying the presence of God for, for you know, as long as I can. Forty-five minutes into it, suddenly all the signs change, and I'm in Belgium, 
And I look, and that's my next exit, and I, I pull up to the church. At and how long should it have taken? At least three hours. And how long did it take? 45 minutes I was there. I like this glory business. Don't go away because you're going to be invaded by the glory.